ships are. But the first ship up today is from none other than the amazing RPG Nerdos. And wow, that's a spiky ship. <laughs> it's the Mohawk ship. I mean, uh, the lightning ship or something. Uh, FTL ships with triple HP. Wouldn't want to imagine that. Well, I'm pretty sure you've created some ships that do that, right? <laughs> wow, those weapons look crazy. So this is the ship from RPG Nerdos we're going to start with today called the Freedom. It's red, it's blue and white, and maybe a little red, so Freedom Cosmerica? Cosmerica? The Omega Star Battle Cruiser. What's this ship got going on? Enormous vessels like these rarely ever are handed out to anyone. However, with the last Kestrel sent out of hangar, this experiment was the only option left. Vessels of this size and firepower aren't easily handled, which you'll soon learn. We trust, however, that you will brave its weaknesses and let this vessel be our answer to the Rebels flagship. Good luck, Admiral. Okay. Well, that's got some interesting weapon-looking things going on. Uh, what do we got here? Phase 1. We have a locked-in augment. My favorite thing. Uh, these augments. So, rock plating does nothing stacky with this, but... Your ship is currently in Phase 1 and supports 30% chance to resist hull damage. On empty beacons, store beacons, and before engaging the flagship, you can switch into phase two, gaining a new system, ignore system limit, and restoring 30 hull, but reducing chance to resist hull damage to 15%. So I can go to phase two at any time, I guess, is what that means. It's interesting. Boss syndrome. Stores are far fewer in this extremely hostile galaxy. Oh, great. Uh, instead, your vessel attracts more unwanted attention. Event repairs are 66% less effective. So is damage taken from events. And neither repair arm nor hull repair drone are available. Plus 20 max hull to ship. Artillery. This ship has access to two precise dual laser guns. You gain plus 20% extra scrap. So we do have basic weak dual lasers. Often used by transport ships that can offer better. So do we have two dual laser artilleries? That's what it looks like. Which is four free shots every... Whatever the base cooldown is, I guess. Interesting. Um, challenges. Difficulty merciless. Go through all eight sectors. Reach and defeat the flagship without ever paying for any hull repairs. Event repairs, as long as you don't pay for them, don't invalidate the challenge. This ain't even my final form. Kill the flagship while being in phase one. What the hell is this RNG FTL? Defeat at least one of the phases of the flagship in the first volley of all the freedom weapons. Okay, so you... <laughs> You've given the player challenges. I don't know if I'm going to go for challenges on my first attempt of this ship. But let's see what we got. We got three different weapons and we have two versions or two of this phase on battery. This powerful battery fires numerous hard hitting projectiles of decent accuracy, demolishing ship with ships with each volley. Three power, 60 seconds, one shot, two damage. Um. I feel like this one shot is more than one shot. I feel like there's more projectiles in that one shot. Um, so I think these guys are stacked on top of each other in the front here. Okay. Uh, four shots every 12.5 seconds. Oh, that's what the dual shot laser is? It's the normal cooldown of a dual laser, eh? Okay. Spray laser battery. Used for sieges and spreading damage. This battery creates a literal bullet hell and provides overwhelming firepower. At least some of the shots are bound to hit, right? Okay. So three power. Again, it says one shot. But I guess it's one volley of a lot of shots. So it's interesting that we don't actually know how many shots are there. Star Flame Pump. Fueled by extreme levels of heat, this pump launches a batch of magma has high chance of starting fires in every room struck. Three power is 18 second charge time. 15 shots per charge. Wow. 15 shots and it does one normal damage. That's going to one shot most things. Okay. Uh, spray fires 30 shots. I think the fact that all these weapons are like flax makes them display one shot. Okay. Well, let's see what the freedom ship can do. Do we have Gibbs? Father Balion? We have multiverse Gibbs. The best type of Gibbs. All right. Let's hope... Uh, if I restart, it doesn't mess up the double artillery. Sometimes that messes up artillery. Uh, perform injury repairs and go into phase two. Uh, do we get drone control if we do this? 
I'm gonna not do that yet. One of the challenges is to never go into phase two, so we'll see if we do that. Oh wow, I love that animation that coming out so far. Can we get all 12 powered weapons online? Looks like we can, okay. So the stores are a lot less good in this mod, or less frequent, and you can't repair at stores, I think, so. This is quite a flashy ship. That's right, what's up, Ted the K? Frederick Survivors? Nice, Dr. Jones, I hope to do. Welcome aboard, sir. You'll be a fake silly device for now. Actually, let's go into here, because maybe we'll want to set fire to the... I set fire to the rain, or whatever Adele says, with the star flame, maybe. Uh, reject your offer and substitute my own. Uh, double rock. We will not try to set you on fire. Oh, that is not very accurate at all. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, this guy's not accurate, so good to know. Okay. Okay, well, that was... Uh... Wow, all these weapons are really inaccurate. And I now have no weapons available. Great. Well, this ship already feels really weak. <laughs> I'll be honest. Because uh, a single missile into my weapons and... I guess maybe our artillery can do something. I don't know. Wow, first ship, two damage missile. And we know that we're not going to get as many repairs. Okay. Thankfully, that artillery randomly hit his missile. That's nice. Wow. All of these weapons are extremely inaccurate. Um, how the hell do you ever kill the boss in one volley with this? Maybe the boss is big enough uh, that all your shots would hit. With how inaccurate this is, I don't know about that, though. Okay, what a start. And there's the dude outside. Get ready for... Brrrr sounds. Uh, you'd recommend phase-on batteries for smaller ships as they have lower radius. Phase-on batteries. Is that this one? Two system, two hull damage. Okay, we'll give that one a shot here. All right, weapon upgrades are normal cost, except the higher level ones are cheaper, it looks like. Let's get a little bit of dodge upgrades first, since uh, since the uh, missiles are the big fear here. So, how are you supposed to repair your ship? There's a whole... You said something about... Um... Repairs are harder to get in this ship. What? How are you supposed to repair your ship? Is there a way to repair your ship? Or is it all impossible repairs? Yeah. Ship gets more defense with each phase, or means of avoiding damage anyway. Okay. Okay, so... Interesting. Switching to the next phase repairs the ship. Okay, okay. You can repair the store? Okay. The can repair the store, several stores are just rare. So maybe I misremembered that. Maybe I thought I read it as you can't repair stores, but it's you can repair stores. Stores are just less frequently available. Hey, four person heal bay, I like that. Uh the bigger the ships, the more hits you can get in. I should try I could try the spray gun. Is that the one that I did the first time? That that one was super inaccurate. I don't know which... Maybe I'll try this one again. They're all super inaccurate, so I don't know which is the best ship up I want to actually hit my enemy with. Okay, stores are more rare, but you can still repair. Okay. Because I maybe, maybe I'll try to play it as intended, which is to never swap phases, but I, I'll, I'll be honest, I kind of want to swap phases and see what the other phases do. All right, free fuel and a quest marker. I haven't tried the SLB yet. Oh, okay, maybe I just did the PB twice and thought I tried that. Darn, cannot help you, sir. Um, 
seven, eight. So I need to be here in seven. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think we can do that. Having more than one weapon fire also makes us feel stronger since you get a ton more projectiles. Okay. Well, that'll be a little while because we need um, 125 scrap plus power. But uh, hopefully we can make that happen. Attack the rebels. Okay, wow, this... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I guess that's probably better. <laughs> These inaccurate projectiles. Hey, somebody can't do damage at least, though. That's a cool... <laughs> Alright, that animation's pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright, I like that weapon. Uh, free damage. But at least it's only one free damage. Isn't that normally five free hole damage? I wonder if you modded that event to, so it's less free hole damage on the... Uh, Whatever it's called. 69 scrap, the best amount of scrap. Alright. Improve phase on battery. Battery's accuracy. Through the sprays. Clip size. Wow. Didn't you say it does 30? 33% would be 10 extra shots. Proves the chance to start fires. Holy crap. Okay. Free repairs and free hole damage are reduced for this ship. Okay. Um, I don't want to go into phase two yet. I'm pretty sure phase two gives us a full heal. Do I want to upgrade any of these or do I want to save? Hmm. These are all really good upgrades. Really, really good upgrades. Let me, what's up, Nigiri? Let me save to get two weapons up, then we'll start doing these upgrades. Once I get a second weapon up. Then we'll do that. Uh, do I have a system slot? I have two system slots. Okay. Boom, boom, bee, boom, boom. How are you doing today, Night Gary? Hope you're having a good day. Scrap some of the debris. I'll go ahead and we have a store. We don't have a store. Let's go ahead and get one weapon power. So we need 75, 30, 31 ish scrap or so. 35-ish, 36-ish, something like that. I'm trying to do math on stream. What's my problem? Uh, that's a chance to lose crew. We never do that. Even though it's mostly only humans we could lose. All right. There's like some purple thing right there. That looks pretty cool. Some purple symbol. Does that purple symbol mean anything? Is it a... Supposed to be a, an emblem of this ship type. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Uh, that's a cool weapon. I like it. The idea behind the ship is to make you feel like a boss in some games. Having access to slow, powerful attacks with long wind-up that many may miss, but each successful hit. Successful hit demolishes your foe's HP. I feel like it's definitely... Doing that, I'll take that. Save me a little bit of scrap there, I think. Like eight scrap or something. So we are the boss. I am the boss. NG. Yeah, I guess we'll go NG. I feel like a lot of your ships are supposed to be. <laughs> you are the boss. Um, okay. Well, let's see. NG sectors usually has the most stores. Ha NG sectors have. Um... Can we find a sector, can we find a store in the sector with the most possible number of stores? I like the blue shield. The blue honeycomb shield is nice. Why are his sh- oh, ha. <laughs> Why does he have red shields? He doesn't, that is my- that is the radius of my shot. I thought I got a shield in. You did. <laughs> uh, all right. Ooh. Oh. Okay. That should be enough for this. Okay. Let's get down one of our artilleries and go with um charge time of sixteen. Maybe we try the star flame. Maybe that. 
Purple symbol shows a large blast of purple light fired by a black fighter that is drawn on the left part of the ship, hidden under the rooms. Oh. Oh, that purple is a shot fired by something over here? Okay, interesting. Wow, uh, okay. We did one shot him there. Let him live. And Hulk Smasher Laser. Alright. Nice, nice, nice double reward. Alright, let's fix these, uh, breaches first. Huh. Oh! Whoops. Messed that up. Okay. Uh, let's have you guys heal while you get that. Well, Starflame. I'm not sure if it started fires. We'll uh, we'll try this one more time when I'll actually have my Mantis V and uh, sensors to see if it actually works. To start fires and maybe get crew kills potentially. It's pretty interesting to have a ship where you have little no stores. Oh, that black thing is a is a ship. Okay, or a gray thing back there. I thought it was part of the. I thought it was part of the ship uh, graphic or art or whatever. Okay, uh, do I care about that? I don't care about that. Okay, still no sore. The worst thing about not being able to fire, find stores is that um, I won't be able to sell stuff that I find. Since we don't really need to buy anything for this ship, it doesn't seem. If <laughs> we have free weapons at no stores. Wow, how did you how did you program it for there to be fewer stores? That's what I'm interested in. I don't think I have a blue option for this, do I? No, okay, well, we got lucky there. I will have seen every jump except the bottom left jump, I think, with the route I'm going here. Alright, let's see if fires are any good with this thing. Okay, we resisted some damage. Uh, actually... Alright, I saw a couple fires. But, uh, I don't think we're actually gonna get any fire crew kills with these weapons, so, uh, go back to this. It's a matter of reducing a number of store events that are going to appear for each sector. Ah, okay. Okay. So is it, what, zero to one in every sector or something like that? Oh, wait, I'm actually not going to be... Oh, no, I have seen this. So one, two, three, four. But the only other place we could have a store would be here or the exit beacon. Let's get power so I can have this online. Which means it's going to be really tough to get systems. But maybe that's the whole going into the next phase thing. You get systems. You want to be a crew member? Sure, Night Gary. Hey, rock plating gives us blue option. All right, grab the weapon. All right, we have three weapons that I've yet to be able to sell. Let you be this beautiful mantis guy. I will not force you to be a stinky, vented human. You didn't change events that may get store though. For example, the arms dealer. Okay, okay. Well, my cargo is literally full, so I hope I can find a store before I get more free stuff. Uh, okay, nice free stuff with the scrap crevy arm. You get a store after fight as well. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I don't have any reason to use drone parts yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Um. Huh. Normally, I'd probably snap pick civilian, but this might be a forced abandon. Would I be okay with a forced abandon sector? Hmm. I don't know which sectors have the most events that could become stores, and that might be the number one thing we need to look for. 
Let's do an upgrade now, now that we got two weapons. Actually, I can upgrade the two that I'm using, so... Spray laser. Oh, I can only upgrade one, though. So, spray mark two. 40 shots. <laughs> 40 shots. The perfectly balanced as all things should be. I'm gonna go down here and see if there's a door. If there's not, we'll go up to stress the node over to the nebula. Okay. Um, so, this phase on battery upgrades both of them, I assume. Is that right? Oh, no, it only upgrades one at a time. Okay. So we only need two nebula jumps to get one extra jump this sector. Okay. Hey, maybe this quest will be a store. Um. Oh wow, that is way more accurate. Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's that's one spooky volley. That is one spooky volley for that guy. You want to be the pilot and ensure who is the pilot? Steli, sure thing. Steli voted most likely to be vented. Uh, let's get one power here. I mean, if nothing else, I'd like a store just to you know get. Systems, too. Uh, manually search. Okay. Cell 35. 27, 25, 30, 25. So one of these is the ones that sells for the least amount. Let's go like this, I guess. Okay. Well, so much for not finding any more loots. Before finding a store. Too much restuff. Isn't that ironic, don't you think? Oh gosh. Alright, I guess we just have... Let's have the accurate weapon here. Oh, good dodge, good dodge. Okay, good. All right, a couple missile shots, it's fine. Frickin' cloaking plus a missile, my favorite. But I'm not usually allowed to complain when I have a ship this powerful, I think. <laughs> or I shouldn't complain. I still will, because, you know, that's what I do. But maybe not get as salty about it. I feel like there's been a lot of distress sec uh, beacons. No stores, but plenty of distress beacons. Investigate? Uh, that's a chance of lost crew. Okay. Still have yet to find a store. So congratulations, you have successfully store blocked me. <laughs> well done. Well done. Successful storeless run successful so far. Oh, good doges. Good Dumble Doge. I do really like the blue shield. I don't know why, but blue shields. Oh, it's got like a cool engine glow in the background, too. I didn't realize. I, th I guess that blue is like an engine glow, right? That's cool. Although there's a faint glow around a lot of the ship, I guess. And it's just stronger here. Maybe that is, maybe that is supposed to be engine glow. Let your soul glow! Or whatever that thing is from... Was that? Uh, Coming to America, Eddie Murphy movie. One, two, three, four, five. I have six jumps. So six, five, four, three... I don't have a way to get all of them, do I? Um, okay, one, two, three, four. We'll save one fuel, I guess. Those are supposed to be engines with the blue glow? Okay, cool. 
You know, I will buy an NG. Yes. Silly device. The Ron is bless, bless us. Maybe with a blessing of a silly device, we can find a store. Uh, Gamma Dragon on YouTube <laughs> made a comment that made me laugh out loud this morning when I was going through my YouTube comments. Uh, when I misspelled silly device earlier with in, with like silly vice or something, it said, so silly a silly vice would be, um, what did he say? An addiction to juggling or something? A silly vice? <laughs> so, I don't know, something like that that just made me actually, actually LOL, actually laugh out loud. Double missiles, my favorite, by the way. Okay. Uh, according to imaginary physics, more blue glow means more go power. Okay. Well, there's, you can't argue with imaginary physics. Um, you were just checking if there's already a command for silly device. No one needs to explain what silly device means. It's apparently it is asked frequently, frequently. I should, actually. That should be something I should do. Uh, but I probably won't for a while at least until it gets really annoying. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't bother me that much when people ask because it's good. It's good. It's a good meme. It's always good to remind everybody of your memes. Know your meme. Um, how much do you get another weapon online? 160 plus something. So still not enough. Do I want to get something else in the meantime? Let's max out our engines since missiles are the biggest thing that hurts us. Alright, what do we got? Tech slaver scum. Speaking of imaginary physics, uh, like when I'm just, you know, bored off stream off often, like most people, just find random YouTube videos to watch that come up on my recommended list. And it's not bad, but nah. And uh, one of the things recently I saw were a bunch of videos that are like, the James Webb Telescope has deproved or debunked the Big Bang Theory or all this stuff. Like, I actually watched one of those videos all the way through and I'm like, I feel like that's not what's happened at all. And then I watched Neil deGrasse Tyson video that talked about that's not really what it's done, but it's good clickbait and all this stuff. Like, I feel like James Webb Telescope is going to cause a wave of clickbait YouTube videos all over the place. Nice weapon sounds. Yeah, RPG Nerdos has gotten really good at the audio and visual. I love the animation of them myself. The animation looks awesome. Nice. Oh, sells for 30. Okay, well, that's more than that. Higher levels of weapon control have reduced costs. I assumed they did. 80, 80, then 85 is the next one. Okay. Rebel controlled. All right, it's not forced abandoned, at least. Imagine putting a pre-igniter in this ship. Just insta-kill everything. It'd be pretty nice. All right. Um, do I upgrade a weapon before I've even got it online? Let's upgrade the star flame pump. And we will try to get work towards getting that online next. All right, what do we got here? If I do one extra jump, I can be here in 12. Will that work? 12, 11. I have to do two to make this be 10. Oh, man, this sucks. All this sector layout is terrible. There's no way I can ever get a good amount of jumps here, so I guess I will go through the nebulas just to try to... Ugh. What a stupid sector layout. I feel like one thing... RPG Nerdos, did you take into account the fact that not finding stores means we're not going to get fuel? Because I am really running low on fuel, and if I can't find a store, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Maybe running out of fuel events are better or something? I don't know. Um, did the James Webb Telescope already show that Earth is flat? Not yet, but maybe. <laughs> I'm hoping that's one clickbait, false, fake news thing that won't happen, I hope. Gosh, I don't even know what to do. I guess I just go as far as I can here before going over here to get as many jumps. 
in a spherical plane, everything is flat. Okay. We're not going to do this yet. Does going into phase two get me fuel, I wonder? Fuel's going to be a problem. The ship starts with some additional fuel, but still ought to take all occasions to get fuel. Okay, all right. So that's a, a thing we need to consider. So here in five, I guess. I love I love the uh my favorite are the videos that sometimes come up on like Reddit or Facebook of there's some flat earther scientist proving trying to disprove the uh earth is round by doing one of the experiments that is like a light coming through a small hole trying to show that it goes flat instead of curving. And he's just like, so if the people that believe the earth is round were to believe, then this light should go above this hole. Hey, wait, why isn't it going like I thought it was going to go? Hold on. My, my apparatus might be wrong. He's like wondering why it's not proving his theory, but it's actually showing how the earth actually is round or something. I, I watch that every time it comes up because it cracks me up. Okay, uh, mind control. Okay, it's annoying, but it's fine. Actually, I'm gonna let you do that because you can just repair and get repair training. Um, I can be here in four, right? With this one, two, three, four, that should work. Well, hopefully we'll have enough scrap uh, fuel to get out of this sector. Um, pulsar. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I was gonna. I was about to say sorry if I offend anybody who is a flat earther, but then I thought, you know, if there's any people I'm not worried about offending, it's probably people who believe in the flat earth theory. I'm going to take that view. I probably wouldn't mind offending people like that. Not that I want to offend anybody, but I don't know. All right, let's see here. Forget that. Because there is one thing I do believe, is that if scientists study it and have a bunch of proof for it and says it's right, well, that was not worth. Oh, that's just a waste of fuel. That I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe in that, not some other random YouTube clickbait thing. Oh gosh, that sucks. I just gave away fuel for literally nothing. Oh well. So I can get another weapon online. Okay, there are dudes over here. Okay. Uh, let's not vent our own dudes. Happy human venting day, every day, everybody. Happy human venting day, the best day. Human venting day is my favorite holiday. If I could invent a new holiday, Human Venting Day. <laughs> uh, actually, that's kind of horrifying, isn't it? <laughs> I probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't propose that when I'm running for election as president of the U.S. I promise to vent every human. Um, sir, everybody who's voting for you is a human. What? Oh. I promise I won't vent every human. Little do they know that I plan on venting every human. I would really like some fuel, please. All right, well, we got three weapons up. Invent a new holiday. <laughs> oh, I was not prepared to have accidentally punned. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, immediate punish. Well, I guess it's value points, if nothing else. You're dead. You're dead.
Hey, what's up, Lord Waff? Lord Waffna? I don't know if I said your name right. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Dee -dee 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 -dee. There's also Giga Chat, the chatter, chattest of them all. <laughs> all right, so I need one power. I would love a store for backup battery, for mind control, for like either hacking or cloaking. Three intruders on board are my favorites. Whoops. not vented this guy very much yet. Uh, first time you catch me live? Well, welcome. I assume you're coming from the YouTube then. You join us, see how a ship gets obliterated by a laser gatling. That's right. Mondays are a viewer created ship, ship days, so uh, we are playing a crazy modded creation from RPG Nerds in chat here. And it's got a pretty... It's got a Gatling gun, some sort of, what is this thing called? SLB is, uh, no, phase on battery and a star flame pump. The downside of this ship is that the game has been modded that there are very few stores. So I have a hard time finding any stores to buy systems or repair or sell the stuff that you find. So we're delivering that to a quest beacon. I hope that quest beacon is a store. <laughs> oh, it's a free crew, but it's a human. But okay, it's fine. I guess I'll take a free human. I guess. I guess. More humans to vent. Did you give this uh, more crew spaces? You did. Okay. What's up, Frosted Apples? How are you doing? Oh, ho, ho. Yo, dog, I heard you need fuel. That was a great, great exit thing there. Oh, Bandender Slug. So, if I go to Slug... Um... Normally, I would say I have more chance at stores, but, uh, I don't want to do... I don't want to deal with Lenny's borders. A store! Oh! I'm so happy! Sector 5 to find our first store. Okay. And no systems. Great! Alright, well at least we can sell all this stuff. Um, should I get a slug, I wonder? For blue options? I think I will. And I'm also gonna have them on piloting in case I never get mind control. So, sorry, and then you have been demoted to hanging out in another random room. Although he does have engine training, but... Let's repair to full while we're here, since it's so rare to do this, and buy all the fuel we can. Get some fuel, yes. Good, good, good suggestion. Alright, let's get level 2 heal bay for the... Couple random things for blue option potential. Oh, that is a very good suggestion. The first store we've seen that the run, I should definitely repair and buy fuel. This guy's got a big giant missile. <laughs> Do we even kill him before his missile fires? No surrender. No, okay. Uh, or yes, we did. Okay, good. The guy who did those weapons by putting many hours into it. What's so funny about them? What? The guy who did those weapons by putting many hours into it. I do not understand what that statement means at all. Alright, uh, we have a quest over there. Um, I need power. Man, if I can't find backup battery, I don't know if I'm going to have enough power to use all your weapons, man. 
and to have any sort of defenses. The weapons are so big and jagged. Yes, yes, they are. That is kind of the design of this ship. It's, uh... RPG Nerdo ships always have some sort of... kind of theme or design to them. <laughs> Get blasted! Okay. How much to get the next thing? 90 plus 90. So 180 to get two more. Uh, decline. That's always a... That's always a debate. Must be how the flagship feels every time it comes across another ship. <laughs> well, that's... Oh, God. That's, uh, I think part of the design of the ship is to make you feel like the boss. I am the boss. To make you feel like you are the boss that everybody's afraid of. I'm on the Brute Squad. You are the Brute Squad. This ship makes you feel like the Brute Squad. Whoops, you need to use a shield. The ship's reactor can go up to 35. Oh, okay, okay. It's one of those things that you can't tell until you buy all that power, I don't think. Okay, that, that does help a lot, actually. You played FTL on easy the last days because you needed the boost of feeling powerful? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you need that with how FTL beats you down. That is the opposite of the deal. I would take the deal for this for that, but uh, cannot trade away fuel. Okay. All right. Maybe what I'll do is I will go into phase two and phase three when we do the boss fight. Maybe we'll do that. So we could say, you think you have other phases. Let me show you my final form. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I never get six, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Is there an easy mode for FTL? Well, there's an easy difficulty. I wouldn't call it easy mode. Uh, unless you are very, very, very experienced at the game. But uh, there is easy difficulty, yes. Okay, double ion plus burst laser two, and we have dodged literally zero shots so far. Great, great, wonderful, amazing. Okay, I was worried we weren't gonna one-shot him there for a second. And no double reward, sadly. You have only one on easy, you have 60 hours. Oh, that's actually not all that rare. There's a lot of folks who have gone many more hours than that and gotten no wins in, so. Uh, that is just how punishing subset games, in general, FTL in specific, can be. Let's see if this is the word. Do you have any tips for vanilla hard runs? You can manage easy and normal, but there's just so little scrap on hard. Um... Drag him back to the med bay. Okay, level two med bay, I think, kept us from losing crew there. General tips. I do have an FTL for beginners, but I don't know if that's gonna be... Um, enough help. Uh, you just, you have to maximize efficiency when you play on hard difficulty. So, uh, some of the most important things to find are long range scanners. It's one of the best augments in the game because it gives you guaranteed ship fights for guaranteed gains um, and can help you avoid things that are really bad like solar flares and pulsars and things. Um, the best weapons are the weapons that are efficient for their power like burst laser twos, flak ones, heavy laser ones, that sort of thing. Hacking is the best system in the game because it's flexible and can be offensive and defensive and is pretty cheap for what it does. 
I mean, that's a few general rules, but I don't know if that's... It's hard to say one or two things to do in FTL. When, uh... Oh, that was interesting. That was less repaired than it said it was going to be. Okay. Uh, when every run is different, you know. Was worried I wasn't going to one-shot. That's first world FTL problems? Absolutely. Double missile ship. Great. Uh, six fuel, I gotta take that deal. Um, they dodged so many, died anyway, because they failed to dodge the remaining part of the ball. That's right. Their labeling is almost sarcastic in extra spec. You mean when the devs call it easy. <laughs> well, Commodore Paul, you can take some solace in when we talked to the FTL devs, or one of the devs, uh, during the FTL tournament that we hosted. Um, one of the two main creators of this game has never beat the game on hard difficulty, so it's not just you. The devs themselves can't beat the game on hard, or at least one of them can't. Um, good tip getting second shield upgrade early. Yeah, I'm guessing if you... I'm guessing that's something that most players would know, is to get second shield early. I mean, that's... That's in my FTL for Beginners guide. If you want some general tips, you can watch my FTL for Beginners guide. That sounds like a shameless self-plug. When pe but people will ask, that's what often what I'll suggest. Um, again, I'm going to hold off till I actually have that usable. All right, there's only our second store of the run. Can we please have systems? Please. Please store have systems. Jesus, two stores, no systems. All right, well, let's do this and this. Do I buy a rock? I'll buy a rock. This is the got dodge training. I like having uh, an engine guy, a rock engine guy. You mostly managed to get to eight sector. The part I struggle with is the is the second and third stages of flagship. Yeah, the the biggest thing I can say for flagship is you need an off a good combination balance of offense and defense. Um, and the most general thing I can say about that is have either cloaking and three shields, or if no cloaking, four shields. Um, hacking, you just always want to have hacking. Hacking is almost required in hard difficulty because it guarantees it gets their shields down um so my my requirements for the boss are for my defense i want to have either four shields or cloaking plus three shields for my offense i would like to have something to bust through shields and something to do too good damage once you get through shields so that's why flak ones are so good uh, halberd beam is an amazing weapon heavy lasers are good burst lasers are good Except for Burst Laser 3, it's a little slow. Um, again, these are all general rules, too. Wow, is this double Burst Laser 2? What a freaking ship. Okay. Get wrecked, OP ship. That I am more OP than. Ah, uh, this song. But again, it's hard to give like one any general rules in FTL since it's a lot of it's just learning what's strong in the game. Learning what weapons are strong and what you should be looking for. And in general things I would say that you need to look for for a tier list. I should probably do a tier list of what upgrades to look for in FTL or something. It'll probably be number one thing to get is hacking. Number two is probably like a flak or a heavy laser or a burst laser. One or two. Two is better, but it's more expensive. Uh, third would probably be like either mind control or cloaking. Um, know when to upgrade your shields. 
Again, it's hard to say any one thing, but these are a few general rules. I'm going to get level 3 shield now. Level 3 shield now. You're going to immediately say you didn't make stores not have systems. Yeah. I mean, that's just just the randomness. When you have fewer stores, you're more likely to find stores with no systems. So, I feel like if you're going to make stores have fewer systems, you might want to do what Mr. Porku does and at least let them have an extra page. So you can have guaranteed systems or something. I'm not going to take that. Um, let's see. Not being able to repair after first stage is so cruel. Well, that's why probably it sounds like one of the things you need to work most on, pair of rookies, is how to minimize damage you take. And for the boss fight, it's always reduce as much damage from the missiles, because the missiles are the most busted OP thing. So whether that's hacking missiles or having your sec first or second volley take the missiles out, Learning how to reduce the damage of missiles, always cloaking missiles, because cloaking is the second most important system behind hacking to consistently get, probably. When you mind control, up to what systems level do you upgrade and which room do I mind control? You must look up for piling, or is there a better room? Um, I usually only have my mind control at level one and get a, and get a value point in it, which means level two, but I don't often use level two. Unless I just have extra power lying around. Um, but yes, the system I would say I most often mind control is probably piloting. However, what I will often do if I have mind control against the boss anyway is I will shoot I will hack shields I will shoot the shields first volley so that his shields are down for my later volleys and then i will mind control whoever goes in to repair the shields to keep the shields down longer so i'll often use mind control less as a way to reduce dodge at least on the boss fight and more as a way to stop them from repairing the stop them from repairing a system i don't want repaired whether that's shields or missiles it's usually shields because what i would like to do is start fires in shields have them all gather to try to put out the fire and then mind control in the shields that will stop them from repairing that, and it will make them kill the guy that's mind controlled, and it will slow down them repairing the system. So that's what I'll often do. Hey, another store. Wow, two stores in a single sector. Uh, so, systems. Yes, all right, we're going to buy... Gosh. I can only buy two here. Um, I mean, this might be my only other chance to find another system, but do I really care about crew teleporter? Like, not even a little bit. I guess I'll just buy a clone bay. All the fuel. And full repair. It was a little wasteful, but I was hoping they'd have backup battery or hacking, but oh well. Chase them. Um, a lot of these things I'm, that I'm talking about are things that experienced players do. So another good suggestion if you want to get better is just watch really good players. A lot of good FTL players out there are creating content. Probably the most skilled is Hollow. Um, but um, players like... Um, I don't know if Dolphin Chemist still streams FTL or how frequently he does. But uh, Lethal Frag was the guy I always used to watch. He was my favorite streamer for a long, 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 long time. Um, and I know he plays FTL occasionally. Uh, Necro Rebel is really good. Uh, Farb, when he streams. There's a lot of good people out there. So kind of watching and learning from other experienced players can be another way to learn. Shogi's writing a book on how to be great at FTL and you never lose. It's one chapter. Step one, never play. Second two, dot, dot, dot. Step three, profit. Pretty sure that's how your book goes. <laughs> Crow Ravel, there you go. He hasn't played much FTL lately? Okay. Pie Boy, if he ever streams, but I don't know how. Pie Boy has a job now, so I don't know that he ever streams anymore. 
Yeah, I got clone base, so I can't heal him. Unless I want to vent some humans. Which I could. Uh, three field not good enough. <laughs> That's a lot of shots. Shots, shots, shots. Alright, so I need... 180... 200 and something scrap for the next weapon upgrade, so... I'm not going to invest yet. Maybe we'll find another store to get one more system in the next sector. When did I read your book? Uh, too late. I already read it. And I stole your idea. <laughs> oh, man. Cloaking and a big giant missile. My favorite. Frickin' big giant missiles. In my book of FTL, there's just one chapter. I effing hate missiles. That's that's the one chapter. Chapter. I effing hate missiles. That's the that's the chapter. It's a good chapter. It's just me yelling at yelling at the pages. Why do these exist? There's too many of them. They're unfair and I hate them. I gave away spoilers for the book. <laughs> I did. Whoops, well, sorry. My bad. Big circles on the enemy ship look like a Venn diagram. Yeah, for a second I thought, why is why is their shield red? And then I realized, oh, they have no shield. And that's my weapon, um, whatchamacallit, radius thing. By the way, speaking of starting ships, if I could customize the systems and load out of the ship, what would be the most annoying setup I could? you all would make? You would all make most annoying setup? Just missiles? Just missiles. The answer to that is just missiles. There's a solution against venting humans. Clone Bay plus backup DNA bank. Just saying. All right. Wow, this guy really hates my artillery. Well, don't worry. My artillery hates you right back. Okay. Hull missiles deserve a special place in hell. Well, hull missiles can't actually be rolled by the enemy. So... Uh, they can... The scariest missiles enemies can have are Hermes and Breach. And Hermes is actually probably scarier because it's faster charging for 3 damage. You're going to have to trash the book. Everyone knows the ending. <laughs> oh, darn. All right. Slug Home Nebula. I found two stores in Slug, so I'm going to go Slug even if they have five shields and other junk. Okay, there we go. Apparently, if I want stores, I go to Slug Sectors. What are the missiles that do four damage? That's the Breach Missile. Damn it. All I want is backup battery, clone bay, or hacking. And I keep having everything but those things. All right, well, I'm not going to do any of this, even though those are very good weapons. We're going to play the ship as intended. Um, I'm pretty sure I get drone control for free if I swap to phase two. I'm going to be greedy and knock out a system. There it is. Power. So we got... Our max weapons there. Can I even upgrade my artillery? I can't. I assumed I couldn't. So, um, I'm gonna not repair. But yeah, breach missiles are the big scary ones that do four damage, and they always breach. You'll notice every time those hit. I'm pretty sure there's a hundred percent chance to. Or maybe it's. No, I think breach bomb is the only thing that's guaranteed to breach. But, the four damage missile almost always breaches, and that's because it's a breach missile with like 60% chance to breach or something. Okay, I do have the counter to that. Oh, oh, I thought our first volley wasn't going to kill, and then it killed. Whereas Pie Boy is always saying lately, it will kill. Okay. The actual hull missile is the missile that the Rock A starts with uh, in conjunction with an Artemis. Which is a three damage missile that does two damage to system rooms and four damage to empty rooms. That is the actual old missile that the player can find, but the enemy can't actually roll, I believe. I believe that's correct. All right.
right. Pujo 2, big giant missiles, Jesus. Did he just mind control my slug? What? Did I just... Am I crazy? Today you learned you can counter my control with my control. That's what I often use my control more than anything else. Is to counter my control. Um... Someone should make a Millennium Falcon ship. I think there, I think there is one that exists. How did that happen? You did something. You did something, R uh, RPG. Unless there's a weird hyperspace thing. What? <laughs> RPG says what? You haven't done changes to crew. Oh, that was weird. I have okay. I don't know what just happened. Is there an augment thing that I missed? You saw it? It's a glitch? I mean, it's gotta be a modded thing. Because that can't happen in vanilla, so I just, I don't even know. Alright, so that does that. Um, let's put these guys like this. Because those look the best there. All right, so I'm not crazy. Other people saw that, right? Okay. As long as I'm not crazy, that's all I wanted to make sure of. There are things in um, other mods that allow for slugs to get mind controlled, but uh, I don't. I'm pretty sure that's not something that was mentioned in this mod. So if that happened, that's strange. No surrender. You go to hell, you die. Older versions of the mod apply micro immunity and ability to see in other rooms were tied to each other. Do you think it's because of the way that uh, RPG Nerdos includes the hyperspace XML file. Well, it's not that big a deal. It's funny and weird. It doesn't actually... It's not too bad. It's not a big deal. It's more funny and lol what than anything else. <laughs> I was like, I, I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> of course, what's also not supposed to happen is we're not supposed to have that many projectiles, but you know. That was de by design. First mind control slug you've seen? Yeah. Uh, you didn't know that those were split the last time you saw it. There was an option to turn that on, but you always left it turned off. So, is telepathic no longer gives mind control immunity? Do you think that's it? Uh... You can make you can make immune all or certain crew races with stat boosts. Okay. Do I want to do this yet? I'm gonna go to phase two when we fight the boss because I'm curious how many phases this ship has, but I don't want to use phase two against other ships. Is someone using Elite Blower outside? Yes. Yes, Mondays. Along with being FTL viewer created ship days, are also we get to listen to the people at my apartment do yard work every single week. It is annoy me with leaf blowers and lawnmower day. The bane of you know streamers and movie makers everywhere are airplanes flying over really loudly and people doing loud yard work right outside your recording studio. Just to clarify, is telepathic in these things? Is it an attribute that gives slugs the ability to see adjacent rooms, hostile crew on enemy ship, and also gave them mind control immunity? Apparently now there's a separate tag for the mind control immunity. Ah, okay. 
Uh, seven moons. Seven. Nice. Fully trained pilot, which we already had, so... Let's actually put you on engine. <laughs> so apparently, my two slugs being here don't actually give me any immunity. I think. But that's okay. But that's okay. I'll pretend like they're giving me mind control immunity, even though they're not. Get one more power. And I'll get, like, sensors, because why not? Okay. Alright, here we go. Right now, my slugs are, are humans that have vision into adjacent rooms. And can see into enemy ships, I think. Only three free hull repair here at this sector. Okay, interesting. All right. And no repair beacons. All right, well, looks like I'm going to have to use the phase two just to repair anyway. Yeah. I'm curious how many phases this ship has, but I don't want to ask since I kind of want to discover it at the boss fight. Wow, it's a really scary fight. Didn't have a lot of dodge. Oh! Oh, he almost survived the last shot. Killed him on the last volley. This is a not enough time event, but uh, whatever, whatever. Okay, let's, let's mind control this so we get at least some fewer dodges. There we go. You will not spoil? Cool. You can tell me once we do it if there's anything we miss about the phase change. Uh, this. Hmm. I'm not going to go too crazy. There's still a small chance of a store here. Probably an infinitesimally small chance to find a store in this sector with the reduced stores and how rare it is to find stores in sector 8, even in vanilla. Infinitesimally? infinitesimally? I hear people eat, say infinitesimally, but I feel like it's spelled infinitesimally. That's a there's, a... there's your vocabulary word for the day. Infinitesimally. English vocabulary. Which means very, 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 very small. But I'm not sure of the pronunciation. I think it's infinitesimally, but I hear people say infinitesimally, I think. Ran slugs were the same as enemy slugs and vice versa. So I could have mind controlled it. Mind controlled it? Mind controlled enemy slugs if I had had it when we were fighting slugs. Interesting. Alright, what do I want to do here? Um. I can't get cloaking, so earlier I said if I can't get cloaking, I should get four shields, so we'll see if we'll get enough power to get the four shield online. Infinite Esimal. Oh, is that how it's spelled? Maybe that's why I say people that say infinitesimal. Infinitesimal. So I guess because there is an E at the end, then you add the extra part at the end, then maybe that is correct. Okay. Well, I was wrong all these years, all these years, which I don't know how often I've even said or actually said that word out loud. <laughs> wrong all these years. That makes sense now. I guess I've never really looked at the spelling closely of infinitesimal. No, I want the mantis. No! Select the mantis, please. Thank you. Infinitely large and infinitely small. Oh, it means both, does it? I thought it was only for small things. Maybe it's just used more often to describe small things. Okay, let's see here. Was that another not enough time? I think that was two not enough time things. So much not enough time. So much not enough. 
Double missile using guy is my favorite. This guy really hates my O2. Rolling. He really, really hates it though. Why do you hate my O2 so much, sir? Oh, because we have so many humans, you want to vent us. Okay, I can actually understand that. I sympathize. And agree. <laughs> sympathize and agree with you. Beep bum beep bum. Beep bum beep bum. Alright, boss fight time. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna get two powers so I can do. Can I get one more power? I can. Level three mind control. Um, I'll probably mind control the pilot. I doubt I'll get any crew kills when this first volley will probably kill the flagship. There's a guy in the lower right corner of the screen blocking the view of the piloting system. Can I vent him? Sure. I have been vented by Darth Vader or something. Um, all right, here we go. Emergency repairs, phase two. Uh, great emergency repairs are performed while it's safe, and the crew, while it's safe, right next to the final boss. The crew repurposes the ship to adjust the new tactics you'll have to employ. With a new system on board and hull restored, chance of victory stay strong. If you have a new system, you have minus one system slots left. Phase two. Drone system installed. Okay. Uh, my defense drone is apparently not here, though. <laughs> I guess it's in my, um... Uh, in my whatever. In my something, I can't talk. Cargo bay. There we go, get one shot, bro. Yeah, it's in the cargo. It's alright, it's alright. I don't know that I have the power to use it anyway. Beep, 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 bum. Let's see if we have another jump to that we can go to the next phase. Nope. Gotta fight. Gotta fight. Enjoy your venting, humans. Merry Christmas on this, the day of your daughter's venting. <laughs> That is one impressive volley you've created. I give that to you, RPG. That is one impressive volley. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. You're guessing there's three phases? Okay, let's see. Let's see what phase three. Maybe phase three will give us mind control, because that's what their phase three gets. Emergency repairs, going to phase three! Great emergency repairs performed while it's safe, and the crew repurposes the ship to adjust the new tactics you have to employ. With new system on board, whole restore. Chance of victory, stay strong. Phase three, your ship is currently in phase three. Weapon cooldowns are faster. Third augment slot becomes available. Bonuses, this augment mentions are in an internal augment, and your ship has been equipped with cloaking. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, so it gives us cloaking for free. Okay, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. That's way better than just getting mind control. Not that we need cloaking. <laughs> all right. Why did we get all this? Where did we get all this scrap from? I don't even know. Uh value point there power there we go we only need level one mind control to counter so we'll have this on all right they tried to turn on their ftl a bit too late eh as mentioned before the ship gets better staying alive with further phases <laughs> when you say better at staying alive alive you mean more stupidly op which I'm, I'm i'm cool with that i wanted to play some stupidly op ships today so thank you for making that a reality. <laughs> GG Cookie Time, the Omega Star Battle Cruiser. Three single shot volleys and he's dead. He, that even got through the Zoltan Shield, I think. The Freedom.
The freedom from RPG Nerdos. True, I was looking for cloaking. Let's check that score. 53, 55, not bad. So that's interesting. So your ship design is some sort of spiky outline with a little ship shooting a big shot. Is that supposed to represent another ship flying next to us like we're like two ships with a bunch of weapons on them? Or is that supposed to be the design on the ship? Bet I couldn't lose even if I tried at this point. On this ship, oh, I, I could just not fire, but yeah. I complete the challenge all three phases in first volley. Nice. Beautiful. Alright, well that was that was pretty fun. Pretty OP. You're out of cookies, Solotro. Got a sacrilege here. You must get more. It's more supposed to be a small ship attached to a huge chassis to become this powerful. Ah! This is like um, a small ship is docked into this ship that expands its um, arsenal kind of thing. It's not a ship, it's actually a turret. All right. Well, that was a fun one. Fun first run of the day. Pretty quick run. Um, I'm guessing the next run will be pretty quick, too, because we're going to play one of Mr. Porco's Federation ships. But uh, before we do that, I'm going to stand up, stretch, use the restroom, take one quick break. Thank you all for watching. Hope you're enjoying the fun viewerships. We are probably going to have an OP day today, which I'm happy about. So quick uh, AFK, we'll come back. We'll play another ship. Y'all rock. See you in just a bit, my friends.